Costco ribs any good? Now that's the question that I was wondering after all these years because you see them in there, you wonder what they taste like. I wanted to find out. So this is what you gotta do. First, you gotta go in there. You know, back there where they have all the meats and stuff, go in, get your ribs. You're gonna see two types. You're gonna see the unseasoned ones, very good price. You're also gonna see the seasoned ones. Now, I'm gonna recommend you go with the unseasoned ones because that gives you a chance to put your own magic on it, like I like to say, you know, add your own little secret ingredients to it. So boom, get your ribs, take them back to the crib. Now you're back at the crib, go ahead and put your seasoning on it. But hold up, I'm about to show you something you've never seen before in your entire life. How do I know that? Because it comes from a place where you've probably never been in your entire life. And that's from Kansas City, the place of the real barbecue. Everybody knows that's where you gotta go to get your barbecue. And if you go to Kansas City, you're gonna go probably to Gates. So, you wanna get this, if you can get it, special seasoning rub, put this on your ribs. Oh man, look at the color on that, it just looks fantastic. All right, back to the cooking. So you wanna put them on there, on your grill, charcoal and gas but I like gas because you can control the heat. I like to go between 200 and 250. That gives you a nice slow and low temperature. Put them um, top side up, meaning the curve. The bone should be facing the grill. That lets, as it slow cooks, that lets the fat render down through the meat. So boom, put them on that grill. There's time travel, boom. Three hours later, come back, check this out. You see how these things look beautiful? Look at the color down there. Look how they're just pulling away from the bones. Fantastic. That's what you want. Aside from that, you're done. Take them in. They're fantastic. You know, it depends on what you got going on. Hey, you know, if you've been to K-Town recently, you might even have some of this, which is what I always put on there. The gate sauce. You got to have that. I mean, if you don't have this, it's like blasphemy or something. But anyway, anyway, if you get a chance to go to Kansas City, get that. Bonus, but wait, maybe you're from St. Louis and you wanna get the St. Louis ribs, seasoned ribs. All right, check this out. You go get them, same thing, check this out. Put them on there, see how they look all nice and seasoned already? Wait two or three hours, I like to go for right at three, pull them off, it's gonna look just like this. A Little bit different, you know, The uh, you still see the bones are pulling away a, a little bit, but these are ready to go. You don't need any seasoning at all, or you might want to put some sauce on it. I actually ate them by themselves. It's a little bit different, still good. It's just a different taste than the original one. So that's my video for our Costco ribs. Any good? Thanks for checking it out. I'll see you next time.